Well, we've watched many educational television programs for toddlers, and over the course of examining everything that's out there, we've found what we think is by far the best of the bunch, and we're going to share that with you here. And how to get it free, legally. Number Blocks is the best child's program, I think, just period. I, I don't think I can think of a negative thing. Oh, I thought of one thing I don't like. I'll start for the one thing I don't like. You can't buy it on DVD. So if you're going to travel or if you're someone who like tends to get a lot of um, internet power and power outage kind of stuff like we do, it's kind of a bummer. But it's, it's perfection. It is perfection. Not only do all the characters just look good, the kids love it. I mean, it is it is addicting to children, and it teaches math in a way that's not... It's not dry, it's not bland, and it doesn't just stop with counting. Because I've noticed a lot of places just stop with counting. Or they'll, like, run through things like addition. No, they really take their time with every single concept, and they really give children the ability to change their mindset about the way math works because they, they, they kind of have a new issue or problem every episode and they use math in different ways to solve it and all of the characters are beautiful and colorful and fun except Six. Six got on my nerves. I mean, I finally grew to like that character but my goodness, she sings every time she's on screen and she throws a dice every time she's on screen and my, my, I think my son liked her the most, which I think made it just all the worse. But it's it's perfection. It, it just it, it's perfection. They, it's um it's by the same people who did Alpha Blocks, and it feels like they took Alpha Blocks, took a bunch of notes on what they did wrong, which is not a lot, but like the few things that they needed to tweak, and then they perfected it with 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 Number Blocks. So w one of the really nice things about Number Blocks is. Like Sid said, it doesn't just teach counting, it teaches everything from counting to addition and subtraction, even a bit of multiplication and division. It teaches uh, properties of numbers, uh, the concept of odd numbers and even numbers and prime numbers. Our kids have learned so much from number blocks that goes well beyond their age. Um, our three-year-old is effectively at a first grade math level, and that's largely because of number blocks and the way that we've helped them engage with the, the show and its merchandise. Um, because he can add, uh, he can count not only by ones, but by twos, and by threes, and by fives, and by tens. Um, and w one of the really lovely things about the show is it, it introduces each number as its own little character, and, and they're all made out of blocks, uh, but each different number has kind of a different look and different personality, and they interact with one another. And then the idea is that uh, the, the different blocks they can they can add together and then if if one and two add together well then that makes three and so there's lots of episodes where you see you see these different uh, characters interacting in ways that that introduce concepts like we'll say powers of two because you'll have one big block that's a power of two that divides in half and then those blocks divide in half and then those blocks divide in half and there's lots of singing and there's little storylines throughout each of the episodes and it's just the sort of thing that captures a kid's attention while also being a really good representation of of how math works it's it, they don't pull their punches when it comes to actually teaching concepts that a lot of shows would shy away from. You watch most educational shows that are meant to teach math, and what they'll do is, is really they will just try and get kids to know one through 10. And if they can do that 
And that's considered everything that, that, that uh, a preschooler should ever be expected to know. Yeah, and it feels like a number of blocks just laughed at that concept. There are characters up to, at least known characters, I think up to about 25-ish. But the rest of it, they, they build on such a, a, a... They build foundations so that any number a kid can easily grasp. When we first introduced our oldest child to number blocks when he was around 18 months old, uh, he, within a few days, was specifically asking for number blocks. This was when he knew maybe five words. Oh, I will remember, do you remember that? We had just kind of casually said the word number blocks. He grabbed his blankie and it was number blocks. Yes, yes. Number blocks was probably one of the first 10 words he learned. I mean, yes, yeah, yeah. Besides oval and hard and eight. Yes. I, that child. Well, and, and, and our, our two-year-old now knows all of the numbers, just... With with it's it's interesting because they have never had any issues learning numbers, and our three year old now it, it frustrates me to no end that I'll try to do math with him, and he doesn't want to do it. But when I finally say, "Hey, bud, you ain't moving it until you do this," he can just go through math problems without even thinking about them. Like he just knows his addition facts now. Yeah, it, it's too easy. First grade is too easy for it's, him. I, I think maybe I should start subtraction, but I. I don't know, no, he just, he just, like, mom, seriously, and just goes through. When our oldest was two, we were sitting with him and watching one of the number blocks episodes that was talking about uh, uh, squared numbers. So it's talking about, you know, four and nine and 16. And as he's watching... He's calling out the next one, 25, 36. He just knew the square numbers in sequence because he had watched number of blocks and he remembered. Well, he's also taking the magnet blocks, which they're, they, they are a lot like these, except they're magnetic, so they're easy for his little hands. And he would make a square and then he would pretend to sneeze and pop out the middle one and be like, oh, nine makes eight. Because that's a thing that's that a, happens yeah. in the show. Not you've got nine, which is a square three by three, and he sneezes, and the middle block comes out, and then it becomes eight and one, and so yeah, 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 the kids yeah. love that. And it, it's it's been an experience. Uh, they they both really. We have yet to see a kid not love this. In the merchandise, I think is one of my favorite parts because. No matter the way you play with them, your kids really learn. Like, I remember our son would do this move a lot. He would go, one plus two equals three. And he would do this just constantly. He would be adding and subtracting them all over the place, the big plushies. And they also have, I don't know, they've got these up to one through ten. And they're pretty nice. I mean, they're pretty solid. Uh, I will say that the eyeballs have washed off a bit because we put them in the tub at one at one point. Don't suggest the tub. Um, and they also have these little cars, which have been a pretty big success in our house. And then we've got, I'll let you go over those because those are a whole other ballpark. Yeah, so you can also get little number blocks manipulatives. And these are just little little blocks that you can pull apart and you can stick together and they come with little face plates with stickers so you can make them actually look like the characters on the show and you know what for for months when we first got these uh, Papa can, can you make five Papa Papa make six Papa make seven uh, and so you know they, they the kids would always want to see all the different number blocks and and see how they're made and think about their shape. So they actually come with little cards that show, oh, 12 is 10 plus 2. And then it shows uh, some of the different uh, ways that 12 can be shaped in blocks. So it shows, um, you know, 12 can can be two by six, or it can be three by four. Uh, and 
so that's just one of the many ways that the show teaches the concept of prime numbers, because it'll talk about the numbers in their prime positions, where they're completely stretched out. And so there are some numbers that only have their prime positions, and then there's some numbers that uh, the show describes as being really rectangly. So it, it introduces this concept of factorizing numbers in a way that's totally accessible to preschoolers. I mean, we had our kids watching this at um, the age of... One and a half, I think. Yeah, basically 18 months. And they, I mean, they got it. They loved it. And it did not take long for them to learn how to count and to learn how to count uh, by twos and fives and tens and how to, to add. Uh, I mean, it, it's a really effective show and it really puts the light of the idea that screen time is intrinsically bad to kids or that kids don't learn as well from, from screen experiences because, my, this, this is the most effective way you can teach a young child math. Um, the, little, the little math manipulatives here, they come with a set of instructions for each episode. You can play along with each episode and they've got little cards, which if you're wondering why these look brand new, it's because our first set got destroyed by our toddler and so we hid the other ones till he's a little bit older and can, you know, treat things with respect and not... Because he loved these. I, he loved the cards especially and they, they got so he, torn up. He, he'd carry them around he'd carry them all around, over the yeah. place. But these have little uh, activities that you can do, and then the instruction set uh, describes some things that you can do with them as well. There's actually, uh, so these are math link cubes, and there's actually two different kits. There's one that, uh, that covers the numbers 1 through 10, and then there's another that covers the numbers 11 through 20. And so when you combine those together, you really do have a, a, a whole lot for kids to... Uh, to play with and to learn with. And truly, you watch the show, you play with the math link cubes, and kids who do that will be at the first grade level by the time they're aged three or four. Yeah, I mean, and, and, and just for reference, these are all the characters. No, okay, well, let me just say this about the math cubes, or I should say this is 11 through 20. Um, the math cubes, they're not easy for little hands. So if, if you have someone who is under the age of, I wanna say four, you're gonna be doing it yourself. and <laughs> you have to put the stickers on the little the little faces. Like you, you have to be the one inserting the stickers. I mean, stupid and nitpicky, but I'm just just saying. If you if, if you're gonna buy this, it construction takes a bit of time. Um, and one thing a lot of people do complain about it. We haven't had a huge problem with it, but a lot of people uh, do say that the stickers come off of the faces fairly easily. When I put these on, I really press them down, and so we haven't had too much of an issue, um, but that might be something to keep in mind. And especially when the kids are really young, you might not even want to put the stickers and the face plates on because if you're giving these to a two-year-old, those face plates are going to come off, and you know they're a choking hazard anyway. So you, you might want to just hold off on that until uh, they're not going to take as much abuse. Yeah. We learned that the hard way. Oh man, when we first got these, we wanted we wanted it to be on the table so it wouldn't be scattered. And it was every single day my two-year-old wanted them. And we had a one-year-old at the time who wanted to scatter them. It, it was fun. It was, it was a lot of fun. So one of the best things about Number Blocks is that the official YouTube channel for Number Blocks has posted uh, all of the Number Blocks episodes. The downside is actually finding them is really like looking for a needle in a haystack because unfortunately that YouTube channel is not very well organized. There's many, many different playlists that correspond to different seasons or parts of seasons or combinations of seasons or just random clip videos that have been strewn together. And uh, so what we have done on the Journey with a Destination YouTube channel is we have created a Number Blocks playlist that contains every episode of the Number Blocks show in order so that you can watch all those channel, uh, all those videos that have been provided by the Number Blocks YouTube channel, but you can actually watch them in an organized way. And the, that, that's important because they really do progress from easy to hard. Those first episodes 
really just introduce numbers. Here's one, one has a personality and a song, and then it introduces two, and introduces two's personality, and two sings a bit, and you go through the different numbers, and, and you start getting more and more complex concepts. So it really is important to watch those uh, videos in order, and not even in the order in which the videos were originally aired on television, because actually there have been quite a lot of special episodes that were produced for Number Blocks fairly recently. And those episodes have not necessarily been produced in order of difficulty. And so what we've done in our, our Journey with a Destination Number Blocks playlist is we've ordered everything in increasing order of difficulty. So you can just start with the first video, watch through, and that is the most coherent way that you can, you can introduce your child to number blocks. Um, some children, especially if you're starting really young, are probably going to get to a certain point in that playlist where the concepts are just too much for them to be expected to understand at all. And at that point, you can just go back, start watching again from the first episode, and you can just keep doing that several times over until you're finally getting all the way through to the end of the playlist. And every time you rewatch, your kids are going to be picking up more, they're going to be learning more, they're going to be reinforcing what they've already learned, and they're probably going to get more excited each time about then playing with your little number blocks manipulatives and their number blocks toys. And, and you'll have more opportunities to, to have some face-to-face um, -face conversations with them about the math they're learning. Oh, um, so B, the BBC did create this, or at least a branch of it called CBs. Um, let me just say there's nothing political at all about number blocks. I mean, there is, they don't ever touch anything. They have a Christmas episode, and if you want to count that as political, that's about as, as much, as close as you get. There's, there's nothing divisive here. There's nothing potentially objectionable. It's, it's just a really lovely, fun experience for kids. So thanks for watching. Go ahead and like and subscribe if you'd like more of this. And for further suggestions about educational resources for toddlers and for older age groups, you can check our website, www.journeywithadestination.com or you can go check out the rest of our YouTube channel, including the playlists for Number Blocks and Alpha Blocks and uh, all the other shows that we've got there. Like and subscribe, please.